Here we go, welcome back to the channel, Bass Brothers Fishing DMV, Naeem here, here to bring you another awesome John Boat conversion video. I know it's been a while, but I mentioned it before when I completed the boat that I had some additional videos to put out on the channel. Well, here's the first installation for you, up to bat, installing the Minn Kota Fortrix trolling motor on this John Boat. In this video, you'll see a three-step process, went through the unboxings, you can see from the very beginning what comes with this trolling motor. Then I'll show you exactly how I mounted the hardware onto the John boat. And then I'll show you the step-by-step -step process of how to wire all the electronics for this trolling motor. So I hope you enjoy this video. It's in full detail. After this, I got about five more videos to edit and post and get on the channel for you as well. Let's get into it. It's unboxing time. There it is, guys. Minkota Fortrex bow mount trolling motor, 80 pound thrust. I tell you what guys, this thing is boxed up very tight. So I'm just gonna cut this open. Here we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is a first, I've never owned a bow mounted trolling motor before, so. I'm pretty excited. So let's take a look at what we got inside. Got the foot control right here. These are the bolts to secure it. I'm glad they supplied bolts. Got instruction manual. This is the main arm for it. Of course, you got your motor, your foot pedal, and your head unit. Got a nice decal right here. I might stick that on the boat, maybe. All right, included in the box, installation, manual only, warranty information. Hopefully I can still submit the warranty since I bought it like three months ago. So this is probably just a strap. So we'll figure out this, where this strap goes. And of course we got our bolts. These are about four inches, I believe, three to four inches. Hopefully that's long enough. If not, I will have to get some longer ones from Home Depot or Lowe's. All right guys, it's time to get this thing installed. Let's go. So I'm just removing the gas spring pin. And this is for the lift assist. This motor has a lift assist that makes it really easy to lift the arm from the deployed position to the stowed. So that's what I did right there. So I'm gonna do a little test run, get the trolling motor put on here temporarily. I need to test out the, the positioning of the motor because I need to make sure that the motor is far enough out so I don't have any issues opening and closing or the motor hitting the bow of the boat. So guys, just wanna show you the finished product, uh, sealing up the wood for the base of the trolling motor. I did these three pieces. This is a two by six piece of wood. I think I did 23 inches long, six inches wide. And this is just uh, the half inch plywood, just leftover pieces. I'm putting two pieces on top to create just the right height for the trolling motor to make it over the bow of the boat. The spar urethane that I used, three coats, four hours apart, came out really well. Everything is very, very well coated. You can see that shine. So what I'll do next is drop two screws in here, keep make this base solid. I'll go ahead and get the carpet on it after that and then install the trolling motor. This is ready to go. I want to get this in a boat. This is how we're looking. It's looking pretty good. Right, we've got the trolling motor in the correct spot, exactly where I want to have it. I'm going to put a piece of painter's tape right across here so I don't lose my marking because I need to open this up to access the screw holes that are already pre-built into the base of the motor. One of the key components is to make sure that the shaft of the motor is an inch and a half at least away from the front of the boat. And the way I have everything positioned is that when I stow the motor, it won't bang against the fish finder. All right, because the fish finder is gonna be right here. You lift up the motor, it comes back, but make sure it doesn't bang that. So guys, I bought a six inch drill bit from Amazon to be able to make it all the way through. I'm just marking my edges. I need this to go all the way through to the deck. All 
all the holes successfully went all the way through without a problem at all. Finally was able to find the right length bolts online. I had to go online because this is a number 20 screw quarter inch and I need it in five inches long to be able to get through the trolling motor, through the base, through the wood, through the front deck. And I also created this plate right here just for extra reinforcement. This is gonna be underneath, under here, just for extra reinforcement. Screw is gonna go all the way through and then I'm gonna put lock nuts underneath here. So I needed a five inch screw to be able to get through all of that. And that's not sold at Home Depot. It's not sold at Lowe's. I couldn't find it anywhere in a local hardware store. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw the base of this trolling motor down into the boat and finish installing this trolling motor. Trolling motor is mounted, everything is bolted down. Did six bolts, two up front, two in the middle, two in the back. Everything is in there really tight. Was able to get underneath to put lock nuts underneath to secure it really tight. So the base is finally on there and she looks beautiful, look at that. Next we wanna get the motor mounted onto this base and then hook up the gas strut to it. The Fortrex does have lift assist, so the gas strut right here is what gives the lift assist to the trolling motor. Just a few parts you'll need to install the gas strut. Comes all in one bag. You've got a couple spacers, you've got your pin and two Phillips screws. And this is pretty straightforward. You want to get your pin in there through the spacers. That'll keep the gas strut centered. Next guys, we want to install the prop. So we're just gonna take off the nut that's here off the washer, take this off. And I'm very happy to see the pin is here because I didn't know where the pin was. So we want to stick the pin. Let's turn it sideways so the pin doesn't fall out. Get the pin lined up, get the washer back on here and the nut, lock nut. And that's it. You don't want to over tighten your prop, guys. It could damage the prop or the motor. Last thing we need to do is go ahead and wire up everything for power for the trolling motor. What I have is 229 DC batteries. These are Walmart Everstart Max batteries. These are the same batteries I have in the Pelican Bass Raider. And these are two 12 volt batteries. We're going to rig them to 24 volt because that's what this trolling motor requires. So I'll be using six gauge marine grade wire along with a 60 amp breaker. For simplicity's sake, we'll name that battery one, we'll name this battery two. What you wanna do is take the positive or negative from battery one and connect it to the, positive, the opposite on battery two. For example, we would take the negative from battery one, connect it to the positive of battery two. Then you'll take the positive from battery one, connect it to your fuse breaker, that then connects to your power to the trolling motor. Positive power will come off of battery one, negative power will come off of battery two. So this negative will go directly to the negative of the trolling motor. So just to recap again, you wanna connect the positive and the negative of battery one and two together. Then you wanna take the positive off of battery one, run it through your fuse breaker, which I don't have yet, I'm pointing at nothing. That's where it'll be somewhere over here. And then from the breaker to the trolling motor. Over here, battery two negative will go directly to the trolling motor. Also forgot to mention, I'll be hooking up a three bank onboard battery charger to the system to charge all three batteries these two and the one in the back of the boat. So I'll also be making that connection onto the terminals as well. So here's my 60 amp breaker right here. Positive will go in one way, out the other. These are the terminals that will go with it, six gauge terminals. This is just gonna be the short cable that connects the positive from one battery to the negative of the other. So I went with six gauge, that should help keep the trolling motor running extra cool, not a lot of power load for a six gauge wire. So we just wanna strip back the outer coating get down to the positive, the individual positive and negative wires. You just wanna be really careful when you do this not to cut the actual wires. All right, we got that clamped down. Give it a good tug, make sure it's on there secure. Going ahead and shrink this down. And guys, I've done a full video on electronics on how I did all my wiring on, on my boat. Link at the top of the screen to that. 
So you can see exactly all the materials I used, the shrink tubing, this shrink tubing actually has silicone in there, just special things like that. You wanna make sure that you incorporate in your build. I'm not gonna get into great detail in this video. This is all about just getting the trolling motor installed and wired up. One little trick guys, see how it curves down like a little slope right there. Make sure you do it the same way on this side. You don't wanna have one facing up and it's not on your, sitting on your battery well when the other one's facing like this. Okay, so have them both facing in the same direction. So guys, take your time and find the right size terminals. I had a bit of a struggle as you can see. I bought several packs. Some of these, at least one of these, I think I don't even need, but do the research. This right here for this breaker is this cell term. Sorry, the label's all jacked up, but this is six gauge, quarter inch, all right? All this stuff is linked in the description below, guys, for your convenience. This one is a different size than what goes on to the actual battery. The batteries that I have, the Walmart batteries, Everstart Max are, have 516 terminals six gauge so this is the one for that so for this piece this is a piece that's going from the battery to the breaker so the breaker side will get the smaller quarter inch terminal and this side will get the 516 both six gauge hopefully you can see guys where the sealant is oozing out that's what you want to see right there creating a watertight seal got this all hooked up the other side we will connect in the boat right here coming off the trolling motor I had some butt connectors for six gauge wire, but I didn't order it. Matter of fact, those are very hard to find. And I found one on Amazon, didn't order it. So I just ran out to advance auto parts and grab this one right here. This is not marine grade. Neither is the one that I found on Amazon. So what I'm gonna do is make it as marine grade as I can by putting on the butt connector. I got my biggest shrink tubing to go over the connector when it's done. And then I'm gonna douse this thing with liquid tape afterwards to make it completely airtight. So this is to extend the existing this looks like about eight gauge wire maybe a little bit smaller coming from the trolling motor to my six gauge wire that i'm running my 24 volt system with there we go so this is already airtight but i'm going to just take it one step further and Put some liquid tape on here just to play it safe. And guys, you wanna go with the ring terminal as much as possible cause it won't come off. There's no opening unless your screw comes all the way off, which that's pretty highly unlikely as long as you screw the screw on good to secure it. So right here, I'm just connecting up the power officially to the trolling motor. Now we're doing our final connection and this will complete the circuit. This negative right here is going straight to the trolling motor and the positive on that side is going to the trolling motor as well. As always, I will do some wire management and get all of this stuff cleaned up and put away probably some wire loom and wire ties. So what you just saw me do was install the ratchet straps down to hold the batteries down in place. What I also did here was just put two pieces of angle aluminum in front of the battery, screwed it directly into the subfloor of the boat. So the batteries can't move forward or up. They will not bounce around. They're, they're pretty locked in there. All right, that's in and it's not moving. We finished all the electrical wiring. As you probably noticed, I have decking now. That's because I'm filming the rest of this video weeks after when I started installing the 
trolling motor. So 24 volt system completely installed, all set up and running. We're gonna test out the trolling motor, make sure everything works. Hit the breaker right there, get power to the trolling motor. Let's keep our fingers crossed guys and press down and see if this thing moves. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. And of course, let's give it a little juice. Excellent. Mission completed. As a last step, guys, we want to go ahead and secure the foot pedal down into this tray. And it actually comes with four or five screws with the trolling motor to do that. We'll go ahead and screw those in. There you go, guys. Full installation of the Fortrex 80 pound thrust bow mount trolling motor. The installation of this motor might be different depending on what type of boat you have. Of course, this is a John boat. Hopefully this helps other folks that have a John boat that are trying to install a motor similar to this. Of course, you'll need to tweak it as you go for the specifications of your boat. If you didn't know, I did a full John boat to bass boat conversion playlist at the top of the screen. Check it out, guys. It's in full detail. Hopefully it helps a lot of people out there to get a lot of questions answered that I wasn't able to get answered as I was doing my own research online on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button, guys. We got a lot more coming your way. Leave us a thumbs up. Check us out on Instagram also. We got an Instagram channel that we post a lot of content that's not on YouTube. As always, guys, stay safe out there. Catch you on the next video.